The Greenville County Salvation Army is reporting a major increase in homeless people seeking shelter when the weather takes a turn for the worse. We're told it's one of many challenges the Salvation Army faces as Greenville's homeless population grows. Our Peyton Furtado looks at those challenges and the potential solutions. Sometime in the near future, this could all be cleared as the Salvation Army makes more room to house some of Greenville's homeless population. Since breaking ground on the Rutherford Street campus in 1950, Greenville's homeless population has risen to about 4,100 people, more than 1,600 of which are students in Greenville County school system. But one thing has remained the same, the buildings, with space for 48 men and 38 women and children in a separate building. Their staff says during extreme weather this week, they had to turn some people away and wait lists to get into the shelters are longer than ever before. A good number of those that we house are working and they're working full time, some of them. Um, but that job doesn't pay enough for them to move out into somewhere that's safe and secure. That's why the Salvation Army is looking to rebuild some of their facilities on site for up to 143 people. That's the city's mandated limit. They're still in the initial planning phases. In the meantime, they rely on the Greenville community to keep their doors open. If you'd like to learn more about how you can help the Salvation Army shelter Greenville's homeless population, you can head to WYFF4.com. In Greenville, I'm Peyton Furtado, WYFF News 4.